today we will be using AI to generate my game because the world as we know it is about to change. Artificial intelligence is changing everything. We are standing at the precipice of immense potential and opportunity. And yet, at the same time, I feel gripped with uncertainty. Will what I do today still matter tomorrow? Is there any point in learning any skill when AI is surpassing us in every way? Well, I believe that as we step into this new era, we have to adapt and evolve to keep up with the times. So take my hand and make this first step with me, because today we'll be tapping into the power of artificial intelligence as we use various AI tools to help me create my game. Now, before we jump into the meat and bone of the video, I have to explain something to you real quick. The game that AI will help me with in this video is a tower defense game that I've been working on, where you have to protect a resource mining drill from waves of monsters by building walls and defense systems. The game will feature base building, tower defense and roguelike elements. And now that you know what's up, let's crack into it. The first step is almost always to brainstorm new ideas. And this time, it won't be any different. We will be brainstorming ideas for a new defense turret, but this time, instead of spending hours on the toilet trying to find those new ideas, I instead use Nuclino's new AI tool called Sidekick. Sidekick is basically ChatGPT, but built into the app I'm already using to design my game. Getting my newfound sidekick to spit out his genius is as simple as just asking him to generate ideas for a new turret. And boy oh boy did he deliver. He generated a ton of great ideas, but the one that truly electrified me was the Tesla turret. I immediately could envision it and that's how it was decided. I'm adding a Tesla turret to my game. Thank you sidekick, very cool. The next step is to start bringing our Tesla turret to life by creating a visual concept. For this, I use an AI tool named Midjourney. Midjourney generates 2D images from simple text prompts. And to be honest, to get exactly what I imagined turned out to be a bit more tricky than I anticipated. But after spending a little time engineering the perfect prompt, I finally got exactly what I imagined. Having a 2D representation of our Tesla turret is cool and all, but this is a 3D game. And so we need to turn our 2D image into a 3D model. Normally, you would have to model it in a 3D modeling software like Blender. But there actually is an AI for this too. I use the AI tool named KDIM. This tool generates 3D meshes using 2D images. And so I inputted the 2D image of my Tesla turret and in less than a minute the AI generated a nice 3D model for me. I have to say, it was pretty amazing seeing how quickly and accurately the AI was able to create my 3D model from a simple image. However, the AI's auto texturing wasn't exactly what I wanted, so I simply slapped some temporary materials on it to make it look slightly better. Okay, so our Tesla turret is now in the game, but it's not doing anything yet. It's time to program it. If I really wanted to follow this video's theme, I could be using ChatGPT to write the code, but I had a pretty good idea of how to do it myself, so I just did it myself. The turret's functionality are pretty simple. I have an invisible sphere called a collision sphere around the turret. The turret always checks if there are any enemies in that sphere, and if they are, it draws a line to the enemy to make sure that there is nothing in the way. If the line connects to the enemy, it applies damage to it and keeps damaging it until it dies. Finally, I use the Unreal Engine's particle system to create this cool lightning effect. The really cool part about the Tesla turret is it's not only limited to one enemy, it zaps all the enemies in its range. And I have to say, it's quite satisfying to watch. Now, this looks great and all, but let's face it, this isn't anything complex. It's basically a long cylinder with some rings around it. So this time, let's put this process properly to the test by creating something a lot more complex. A new enemy. Because What's a tower defense game without its enemies? It's like having poop with no glow. But first, let's take a moment to talk about today's sponsor. This little guy. 
As a developer, I've tried a lot of sites, but I have to say that Nuclino is hands down the best platform out there for anyone in the industry. Whether you're a solo developer or an indie studio or a big shot AAA company, they have a vast array of design document templates that will save you from the tedious and time-consuming task of organizing and structuring your project. With Nuclino, you can easily create a template and start writing down your ideas in the right categories, making the whole process much more manageable. And the icing on the cake? Well, you saw it already. It's Nuclino's new AI, Sidekick, which will help you reignite your creativity and get those brain cogs turning again when you're out of juice. So, why not give it a shot? Check out Nuclino in the description below and get two months of free premium access to try it out for yourself. Thanks Nuclino for sponsoring this video and supporting my creative journey. So, for the new enemy, I had the idea of a stone golem. Just like the first time, I asked Midjourney to generate me some images of stone golems. However, getting a full body front view of the character out of Midjourney feels harder than hacking into freaking NASA. I mean, look at this text I had to pull out of my b to get what I wanted. And yes, it's really important to get a full body frontal view of the character if we want Kadim to generate a good 3D model. Eventually, I did get what I wanted and fed the image to Kdim. I also wanted Kdim to generate something a bit more on the low poly side, so I lowered the poly count. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the model itself. It looks pretty good, but it's more of a block out than a final character. As you can see, the character consists of blocks put together in a way that makes it look like the golem I told it to make. The problem with this is that it generates quite a bit of unnecessary mesh that the player will never see since it's inside of the golem. And this is simply not very optimized, but for now, it will do. The next step was to get this guy animated. Sadly, there is no AI tool for this yet. So I just went on to Mixamo and gave him this mutant animation set. This is quite cool because it makes the golem look heavy and chunky, just how I imagined it. But we can now also see the second problem with the block out Kadim did. When animating the character, some of the blocks are overlapping, creating these parts where some blocks are poking out in places they shouldn't. Anyways, after getting him into the game, I just had to give him a name. And what better name for a chunky golem than Ob? Oh, and is it just me? Danny? Or is Bob looking kinda? The concept behind Bob is that he's big, slow, but does a lot of damage. He also has a special jump attack where he jumps into the air, closes the distance with his target and does big AOE damage. By the way, I don't have a Steam page to wishlist the game yet, so if you want to keep up to date with this project, I recommend you subscribe to the channel and join the Discord server, link in the description. I am Bob, watch this video next or I will crush you.